if someone doesn't have a family when they die, all depends where they die. If they die in hospital, um, the bereavement office will go to that person's address, um, usually two people, they gain access to their property and they will look for anything within the property, either a will, an address book that maybe has contact details. So they'll do full due diligence before they actually uh, declare that this person has nobody to do their funeral. Once that's established, the hospital trust pays for that person's funeral because they died in the hospital. Then it's given to a funeral director and a full funeral is done as normal. It is publicly announced, so if there are friends, you know, that want to attend, people can attend. With our funeral home, if nobody does attend, when we get out to the crematorium and there's no family or friends, um, we will sit in so that at least they had somebody in the service and we still do a full, full service, even if we're the only mourners sat there. If people die without a family, there are a range of scenarios. A friend may organise the funeral, the affairs may be left to the solicitor, or the local council might undertake the funeral. We work with our local council to provide welfare funerals for those who don't have the means to pay for their own. We feel that it's really important, although we don't make any money from this, to give everyone a dignified send-off. A big question is what happens if somebody doesn't have any family when they pass away and, and, and how can a funeral be arranged? And there's two answers to that really. The first is that if there genuinely is no family and there's nobody that would be in a position to arrange a funeral, then local authorities, councils will have contracts with funeral directors they will be able to, to arrange a funeral. And even though it will be a simple funeral, it will always be dignified. Uh, any neighbors or friends that want to attend will be allowed to intend, attend, and if they want to, to actually be involved. And we're aware of a, a lady who was very well known at her church, who was very well loved, but who didn't have any family. And she passed away very suddenly earlier this year. And in fact, that church have rallied round to provide the funeral. And they've had to wait for a bit because the, the council have had to do their normal processes of trying to find any family to see if they would want to, to do the funeral. But as no family have appeared, uh, the, the coroner has given permission for the church community to effectively act as the family and to contract a funeral director to carry out a funeral.